Hi guys, it's been a while since my last video released on the channel. I've spent more than one year working on the episode 2 of Learning to Fly series. I've overcome a long path full of stupid accidents, equipment failures, troubles with catching strong wind, injuries and finally I was not the only one falling. Suddenly, it turned out that all my future videos are now possible only thanks to those who supported my Learning to Fly project. Thank you guys, you saved my life. So, what are we gonna be talking about in the episode 2? Yes, it's time to check out high jumps over 10 meters. What do we need for that? It's simple, the power, a lot of power, more than most of us ever use while riding a kite. All the power your kite can deliver. It means that there must be no word overpowered for you anymore. Your kite must always give up generating more long before you give up resisting it. We will learn in details a new kind of stance you use for that. To initiate a jump sequence, you also need to send the kite to 12 very fast. Creating more lines tension for that, when you're already so highly powered, is not that easy at all. And you'll have to learn its physics and do some exercises. Now, put it all together in a comprehensive big air jump strategy. Learn some details about maintaining a stable position in the air. And finally, take a look at landing after a high jump. We won't be using waves so far. It's all about pure techniques to reach the level of 15 meters from dead flat surface. I was visiting flat water spots only and was often hitting the top of the spot leaderboard while filming. I hope you'll be able to do the same. I've done a lot for that. Enjoy!